All right, friends, I hope you're doing great. Welcome to this video. Now, it should be very clear to you that the photo that you use during your DV lot replication must be very well taken. And it should be taken to meet all the requirements of the DV photo as specified by the United States government. Therefore, even as you are planning to enter into the DV lottery, you need to take note of this, that as you are preparing your photo, you should stick to the regulations and the requirements of the photo. And I know most of you may try to go around so that they can save on some money when taking the photo and therefore they end up using their phones. I'm not saying that using your phone is bad because I even have a video showing you how to properly take the DV photo using your phone. What I'm trying to say is that by you taking the routes that you may save some amount, you should be very careful the kind of the phone that you're using for your picture or the kind of the camera that you're using for your picture or your photo, so to say, should be very, very good, should be producing the quality of the photo that is required. Not just any phone that you can use to take your photo. No, it must be a phone that produces a high quality picture, high definition picture. This is because we know for sure that the DV photo will cost you your selection. In the first selection you might go through, but when reviewing your details, your photo may fail you. That is very clear. It may fail you. So about the DV photo, you need to be very careful. Take a proper photo, a good photo, and let it meet all the requirements as you are going to see. So the first requirement is that your photo must be in color. Don't produce a black and white photo. These instructions are obvious and they are on the DV program website. The photo should be sized such that your head takes about 50 to 69 percent of the total picture space. Your photo has to be of 2 by 2 inches or 500 pixels by 500 pixels. And the size of your head in that frame should be between 50 to 69% of that total frame area. And then it should have been taken within the last six months. So no use of old photos. Use a photo that is within the six months period at the time of your application. Let it not be older than six months. And then it should be taken in front of a white background. The background should be absolutely white or off white. And then we have, it should be taken with your face facing directly the camera in front of the camera. Your face should be facing directly the camera. And then just wear a neutral expression, maybe a slight smile, but don't show your teeth. And then should be taken in plain clothes, not clothes exposing your body, just plain clothes as you do, you need not to be professional or wearing a business suit or so, 
just wear plain clothes but let them cover you properly you are not supposed to wear a hat this is obvious you are not supposed to have a hat on and then you should not put on glasses and if you are to wear the glasses they should be prescribed by the physician maybe for example you are from a surgery and your eyes need to be protected and therefore you can't do without them and therefore you have some document showing that you were prescribed so if you are prescribed the glasses by the doctor then that is the only point that you should have your glasses on but glasses should not be on when taking the photo and if you are wearing these glasses we have these rules the frames of the glasses must not cover the eye number 2 there must not be glare on the glasses that obscures the eye and there must be no shadows or reflections from the glasses that obscures the eyes those three conditions the hearing aids must be on if you are on your hearing aids at all times if you put on your hearing aids at all times then that's when you're supposed to have them on when taking the photo if you just really wear them don't take the photo with them remove them before taking the photo the other thing that you should not is that you also need not to have any turban but if you wear a turban or a scarf for the religious purposes and that is what you do always then you can take the photo with it however the face should not have parts of it hidden by the scarf or any shadow obscuring the face as i come to the end of this video remember that there are videos coming and we shall do also another video clearly showing you how to take the dv photo using your phone but your phone has to have a good quality camera i'll do the video and show you how to appropriately take the phone on that and we have friends who have won their dv lottery by taking their photos using their phones but i remind you the camera must be good thank you guys please as you prepare to take part in the dv lottery remember those instructions about your photo and let your photo be as good as it is required because it can lead to your visa denial if it's not taken rightly thank you guys please subscribe to the channel like the video and let's meet in the next video